Oh, this is the Shares iLog uh, regarding Microsoft. As you know, it's my favorite company. Uh, my favorite thing to talk about because my thing about Microsoft is that I see the vision. I can see where things can be. And other companies like Google and Apple uh, and other technology companies, they're, they're doing a good job. I mean, they're, they're taking care of business. And I support those as well. I support any technology. But I feel that Microsoft has a more clear, uh, I can see where Microsoft is, tr well, I, I can see what they're trying to do, basically. And I, I feel the, how Office 365 for businesses, I can see what they're trying to do with that. And um, how they're trying to push that to the mainstream, as far as offering cloud-based services for businesses, you know, on-the-go office. Uh, in fact, here at Tele Network, they have a lot of agents that work from home, and so that's a good thing. And they use Google Apps, and so a lot of the tools is available on Google Apps. However, a lot of the tools aren't available on Google Apps, and they have to use VPN for for a lot of the services. Um, if a company really wanted to be completely in the cloud without the use of VPN and all that stuff, that's great. But I can see why VPN is needed. Okay, VPN is a good way of protecting on a 64 or 128-bit encryption, uh, protecting data that's only available if you are in office. You know, but. Uh, back to Microsoft, Nokia, Nokia, actually, and Microsoft becoming one company. I think that's a wonderful venture. Um, I can see where that can go far in the Windows Phone market. And Steve Alup, Alup, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. If he becomes CEO of Microsoft, I think Steve will become Steven, Steve, whatever his name is, I think he will become a very good asset to Microsoft, even more so than Bomber, okay? Because uh, Bomber is the kind of guy that gets so excited about all kinds of things. He's running around his face going, Microsoft, yeah! <laughs> That'd be me too if I was CEO of Microsoft, of course. But I think... Um, you know, Stephen will do a really good job as the CEO of Microsoft and take it even further, take it to more of a device uh, services and devices company versus, you know, what Microsoft's been for years as a services company. They didn't create a whole lot of devices. Yes, they have the Microsoft mouse, the Microsoft keyboard, but, oh, there's a train passing by pretty soon here. But, um... Outside of being just just a services company, I think Microsoft can go far in the in the devices uh, department. They just need some type of creative advertising venue to push it even further than where they took in, taken it uh, in the past. Microsoft Surface, I think should, they should sell that to Nokia, uh, Nokia. Well, they'll be selling it to themselves, but it should be called the Nokia Surface. I think that would be a catchy title for laptop slash tablet devices. <clears throat> Come up with a different name like Nokia Lumia tablet for just the Windows 8 OS or the UI that, that can't run Windows software. And um, I think that would be for the RT version. I think that would be a better way of knowing the difference, maybe come up with a slightly different design for both devices so that you can tell, oh, you got an actual laptop, you know, slash tablet, and, oh, you got a tablet only, you know. Um, this is why I don't understand. If you have a Chromebook, can it also be an Android? I don't know. But anyway, that's all i got to say. Um, not much else to say. But I, I think uh, Nokia is a good buy. Uh, Seven billion dollars. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money.
for a company that used to make paper. I mean, wasn't it? I think it was. I think Nokia was a paper manufacturer when it was founded back in the 1800s. Yes, Nokia is that old, but they weren't always making phones. If you look at the history of Nokia, it, it they went from one thing to another. It's like I think the thing that they did that they um, did was they made paper. Then they totally converted and started doing a bunch of other stuff. That's why they have so many patents because the patents aren't just about smartphones and electronics. They have a lot of patents in a lot of different things. They're not doing what they originally did back in the early 1900s and the late 1800s, but they still own those patents from way back. And uh, so Microsoft has a hand. It's not just about the smartphone. Microsoft now owns everything that Nokia owns, everything. And they own a lot of patents. So that strengthens the amount of money that Microsoft will make in the future. They'll make a lot more money than just selling smartphones. And a lot of people are thinking, oh, but they're not going to succeed. No, Nokia uh, owns a lot of patents. And a lot of companies will be paying them for a very long time for the use of those uh, ideas and patents. But anyway, my phone's about to run out of batteries again. And uh, do you want to say, peace out? <laughs>